Warminster. I was born in the Bronx, New York, in December 1941. I've always felt responsible for World War II. The first thing I remember liking that liked me back was food. Jack? Yeah, yeah. How's, uh, Thursday? Oh, no, Jack. No blind dates. No thank you. Morgan Stern, the guy saved my life, huh? Jack, what do you on. say? Well, really? What did he do for well, you? What's the difference? The point is, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for him. Now, what do you say, huh? No. <laughs> A friend, he's been wounded in the thigh, he's lost a lot of blood. But I'm not a doctor, George. No, I know, I know, but can you just take out a bullet and bandage the wound? Bullets? Why? Who shot him? Poor <laughs> Mmm. Mm. Something smells good. What are you making? Food. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> Gary, it just so happens that you have, uh, you know, caught me when I was about to serve my dinner. Oh, oh, thanks for the invite, but I already ate. International film star Victor Alfieri, Ioni Sky, Ron Silver, and Talia Shire. You're a little mysterious. Are you running from the law? Okay, hold it right there, buddy. It's a long story. before you left for the airport. You sounded so sad in the phone last night. I knew there had to be something wrong. You're not usually that sad when you say goodbye to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sad anymore because I'm staying another week in New York. Yeah, that's terrific. You will excuse me, won't you? I don't like to cry in front of chubby dentists. Okay. How are you, <laughs> I want you to meet Joe. He's my father. Hi, Mr. Morgenstern. Please, not Morgenstern. Call me Martin. Martin. I hope you'll forgive this disarray. The apartment. We're going somewhere. What's moving under our feet? And the look in your eyes get me. I know, I know. We got a good thing. Under the News story covering this event. The headline might read, Small Brain Enters Room. Fingers. What's the answer? Oh, you're another one of those bright young... I drove here across town. I went through red lights. I almost sideswiped the bus. Just to tell you, I really don't know you yet, but if you leave town, I don't know, I'm gonna go crazy.
revolution. There's no one like you. This could be like a movie. Cause it's never been so easy. I know, I know. We got a good thing. Under the light. That's amazing. Do you realize you've been putting on makeup for an hour and you don't look like you have any makeup on? <laughs> That's the whole point. It's a natural look. <laughs> the more you put on, starts in the heart. Then there's a spark. Would you come be my lighter? I know we're right where we belong. And we felt colluded. Um, it was just, it was a, a, a tough time in my life, but it was, um, it was so, um, what's my name? Inconsequential. Who knows? Who cares? I do. Come on, what's going on? You can tell me. Look, Brenda, it's no use. There's nothing you can do. Well, what happened? <sighs> Brenda, every day... It's not Alfred, Mr. West, it's Jerry. Alfred was the guy on the TV show. There's a charity event at the car museum tonight. It seems I'm expected. I want to hear it all. What's going on with your life? Oh, you know, the same things. Mother problem, weight problem, date problem. That's terrific. You don't have a job problem. Hey, that's right. I got promoted at the bank. Now I'm a teller. for 33 years. Back then, Bart and Lisa were kids, and Maggie was still a baby. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs>